Good day everybody. Today in these expert talks we're going to look at a case study. It's uh, we would say a rather basic case study but it's showing really the benefits of using predictive maintenance in your industrial environment and on top it's uh, putting into evidence the effects we can have by using our special iDNA algorithms in uh, your predictive maintenance program. So the situation, we're looking here at a highly critical centrifugal pump in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, we use a semi-continuous uh, vibration and temperature measurement system uh, named in this case the Weak Air 100. Um, it's taking two measurements a day, which is already quite more than what we would do in a lot of other situations by going to the machine and taking measurements with our portable devices. So um, if we look at what we have been measuring, um, the global values, the global vibration values are acceptable. Uh, so at first sight we would say there is no problem. On top of that we will look in, in more in-depth into the real vibration data for the experts and uh, the, vib the, the vibration spectra and also there there was not really something uh, to, to, to be seen so they wouldn't reveal any issue at this point in time. So we went one step further and um, why did we go one step further? There are some fader modes that we would require to use other algorithms, uh, like in this case the IEDNA algorithm, to detect them, like bearing defects in an early stage, lubrication issues, electrical problems, and so on. So that's the technology we applied here on top of the standard vibration measurements. And by doing so, some problem was revealed. On the non-drive end bearing, the impact levels, what we would name the, the stress waves um, we can detect, are quite high. Though on the drive end side bearing, that was not to be seen. How come the difference? That's because it's a high frequency vibration who is known not to travel that far. So it's important and interesting to have two sensors on this kind of application to really detect the boat. So, the diagnosis. What could we detect using this? We see a high amount of these stress phase and we know by experience that when they are continuous in form, they are originating from friction in the bearing. Meaning, in a lot of cases, it tends toward a lubrication issue. But for this customer, the recommendation would be to re-lubricate. It wasn't possible. Why it wasn't possible? The bearings in the, uh, in the motor are lubricated for life, meaning you can't re-lubricate. So the only option left was to replace the defective or the almost defective bearing to avoid it to lead to a catastrophic failure for that asset. So the customer replaced the motor bearing after our recommendation and of course the system remained in place, so after overall new measurements were executed. And you can clearly see when we take the trend of these uh, iDNA uh, measurements, we have a significant decrease of these uh, stress waves in the motor non-drive and bearing. So we could say, one could say, a successful intervention. So if we would compare now with this approach versus when the customer would not have uh, used this approach, with this approach, we are able to pinpoint exactly where the problem finds itself. Instead of having to replace the full motor or even the motor pump combination because you don't know where the problem is coming from, we can pinpoint exactly which part even is defective and needs to be replaced. So there's not a lot of risk anymore of getting an unexpected failure and your cost in maintenance is lower too. Without this uh, solution, very, very likely at a certain point in time, this machine would come to an unexpected shutdown, needing to be replaced, but also costing you uh, production time. And on top, the replacement cost would have been bigger because you don't know where to look for. And usually the consequence of not knowing where to look for is you need to replace it all. So that's the, 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 the benefit of, of this approach. So if we look at it from, from a more high over, we are enhancing your security in your plant by doing this. What, what does that mean? Um, it's an easy intervention. It's well planned up front. 
and that is known to be more safe than when it's unplanned, uh, under stress and maybe even without the right parts uh, available. Cost-wise, you can save two times. You save unexpected production uh, loss because the, 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 the asset stops producing when you want it to produce and you will save on your maintenance cost. So cost-wise, that is a benefit. And that is immediately linked to your productivity level. By anticipating this, you can adjust your planning or even plan an intervention on this asset because in here we, we could say it's really not a critical problem. You can plan the intervention whenever you want it. So when you already have planned to not produce and not needing the asset. As said, quite straightforward um, case study, but indicating the benefits of using a predictive maintenance approach for your uh, maintenance. Thank you.